Okay, so we are a small medical manufacturing company here in Guilford. We've been manufacturing ventilators uh, since 1973 is when the company was started. My father and I were able to, um, my father actually purchased it in 1986 and I came to work with him right since then. So it's been 33 years. Uh, before this whole pandemic, I would tell people what we do and they'd say you make ventilation systems for buildings. I said, no, we make ventilators, which is life support equipment. And now everyone knows what a ventilator is, unfortunately, because of what the pandemic is doing. So we're working seven days a week right now. Um, we're working overtime during the week. We're looking at adding a second shift. Uh, the problem is gonna be raw material. So we're, we're looking at a partnership with a very large Connecticut-based company that is gonna help us with our sourcing issues and possibly some manufacturing. Uh, they're looking to, they're talking with the FDA right now to see about getting their facility registered to ramp up our production. Um, that's about what I have to say, Governor. Thank you, Dean. Well, good morning, everybody. And here with Sean Scanlon, Christine Cohen. Um, and this is important, Matt. This is very I mean, important. I, I love Guilford. Not only do you have Biomed providing um, homegrown, um, ventilator devices. We're searching the globe for them right now, and you can get them right here in Guilford. Right down the street is Semaphore, another Guilford company. They're going to help us do uh, testing and ramp up our testing capability in a dramatic way. And uh, just remind you how important this is because um, you, you scour the globe for the supply chain. We have orders that are supposed to be coming in. At the last moment, they get rerouted. Uh, and they have supply chains that go all the way back to China. You know that 90, 95% of our uh, ingredients for a lot of our key um, you know, drugs come from China and India. So the degree to which we can have a homegrown supply chain makes a world of difference. And uh, Biomed is part of that. Ventilators in particular, they're going seven days a week. And uh, that's why we're here on a Sunday morning. I'll tell you a little about, more about that in a minute. Just yesterday was a day uh, marked by a little confusion. So I might as well tell you uh, when the president uh, said um, he was thinking about um, a mandatory quarantine for uh, New York City, including Jersey City and including Fairfield County, the three governors got together to say, what does this mean? Are you thinking about a lockdown? What do you mean? Words matter. Uh, this is the uh, commercial and financial hub of the United States, global capital of the world. Be careful when you talk up words like that. And uh, by the end of the day yesterday, with good interface with the White House, talk to the president, talk to the vice president, um, we ended up reaching an agreement, which I greatly appreciate, which is uh, uh, certainly what we call a transit alert, slowing things down, making sure that anybody who crosses the border has to have that 14-day quarantine, something that Governor Cuomo, Governor Murphy, and myself, we will be able to enforce. It will make a dramatic difference. And uh, I really appreciate the White House working in collaboration with the governors to make sure the orders that come out are, are something that, A, we can enforce, and B, it's just so important at this point in time to speak with clarity and make sure there's no confusion because confusion can lead to panic. You know, back to Biomed, um, we had an order. We thought about this uh, for a while. We've been planning here in the state of Connecticut. We had our order with a uh, strategic stockpile down in Washington, D.C. We had 1,000 ventilators, 1,500 ventilators on order, ready to go. We have about 950 in the state right now. Agreed, shipped, ready to go. And guess what? We found out today they said, uh, sorry, we rerouted your shipment. Uh, your case is not as urgent as some other places right now. Uh, so we're still down there. We're pushing hard, making sure that Connecticut gets uh, what was promised, what we need. Uh, but in the meantime, it's amazing companies like Biomed right here. We've got an order. They've committed to 100 ventilators for the state of Connecticut. And I'm really hoping, talking to Dean, that they're going to be able to ramp up their production. They've been talking about as much as 500, even 1,000 ventilators, if we can get the parts and if we can put together the manpower. And here are Colin Cooper, our manufacturing czar. We're making sure that Dean and Biomed will be, have all the manpower they need trained, ready to go as soon as they can get the parts. I'm not as expert at helping them get the parts from China. We're working on that. 
but we're trying to figure out how we can locally source these um, uh, parts as well so to help them ramp up given the need we have. And the more that we can do as a state ourselves, the better I feel, something we can control. I mean, our hospitals are expanding capacity every day. We're getting in hundreds now, over a thousand nurses coming in um, out of early retirement, getting them back, getting them back in the field. We can uh, expand there in terms of testing. Look, we've been very helpful to have out-of-state testing labs who have been able to complement you know, what we're doing with our state lab. But now it's Jackson Labs and Yale New Haven Hospital and Semaphore, like I said, again, here in Connecticut, we're gonna be able to take a little more control of our own destiny. Last thing I'll leave you with is, um, I was uh, very pleased that um, you know the president um, told us last night that A, we are gonna get a reimbursement under Title 32 for all the work that our Connecticut Guard, National Guard are doing, you know, just like New York, just like California and Washington we're getting. And we just explained that you cannot think about this virus in terms of state borders. There is a hot zone, and that hot zone does include New York City and Jersey City and Fairfield County. So the only thing I appreciated about his musings out loud the other day was he was thinking about this as a region. And that's why it's so important in terms of what he's doing for us in the Guard, so we can get st stood up more of our field hospitals, which I greatly appreciate and also uh, making sure that our emergency declaration is now recognized along with those other states. You know, they're funded at 100 percent. We're funded at 75 percent. But I got to tell you, Mr. President, the COVID virus is just as pandemic on our side of the border as it is on the uh, Westchester County side of the border. So I hope we treat us all the same. Uh, Andrew Cuomo can't put out the fire in New York if we can't put it out here in Fairfield County and then going up the coast. Look, we've anticipated uh, pretty well. We've planned pretty well. But I was talking to one hospital administrator today. He said, our modeling is pretty good in terms of the number of infections. Our modeling has been pretty good in terms of the need for ICU. We know what our capacity is there. Our modeling was not as good in terms of our need for ventilators. And the need for ventilators is more than we uh, could describe before. You know, Dean said severe COVID um, reaction. He said, like, a." Uh, um, a 500 pound weight sitting on your chest and ventilators save lives. So Biomed devices are saving lives and I'm so proud that they're here. We're going to do everything we can to help you expand. Thank you, Governor. Um, Governor, um, do you recall what time the call was and were you on with uh, Governors Murphy and Cuomo? How did, how, what was the technical aspect of your communications with the White House last night? I talked to the Chief of Staff uh, early in the evening and told us uh, the concerns we had and uh, described the nature of the regional pandemic, but what we could enforce in terms of, uh, you know, the quarantine. Then we talked to the uh, President and the Vice President probably 8.30 that evening, was yesterday. That the New York and New Jersey governors also, like, um, I think he must have called, he called us all several. It was just me on the phone with oh, him. okay. And how long was that, do you think? How long was? Your conversation with the President. Probably 10 minutes. I appreciated him reaching out. I appreciated him thinking about Connecticut as a unique circumstance, but part of a pandemic in a region. What, what did he, would he agree with that he was just musing about it as the term that you just used? Ask him. Okay. <laughs> it's easier to ask him. He, well, he had, they were asking him a question on the way to the helicopter. He, um, I don't think, I think a lot of his staff maybe um, was caught off guard, had to do some catching up. We as governors had to do some catching up to see exactly what they meant and what that could impact our communities. Um, uh, are you up on today's uh, statistics regarding fatalities and uh, cases? I'll have that at the end of the day, uh -huh. later can I today. Can Dean a question, please? Please. Uh, Dean, how, how do I describe what actually happens here? I mean, what, um, are you just assembling stuff? Do you have plastic molding machines? No, we're basically, everything gets designed in-house. We have a, a full engineering staff, mechanical engineers, electrical, software engineers. Uh, we sub out a lot of this stuff. Everything comes in, it gets assembled and calibrated uh, and tested here. Okay. And um, can I ask Colin what the contract is at this point with, with the company? Can you tell me the dollar amount, sir? I, I've not been involved with the contracting part of this. Um, Governor, are you, are you that far into it to know what the contracts were? 
pretty far into it, but I just soon not talk about the contract. What I can tell you is our own company right here in Guilford has guaranteed us, I think it's at least 10 ventilators a week for the for the next at 10. least the next 10 weeks. Maybe, maybe and more. we're going to ramp up, but they ramp up. Right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.